Hey, what's going on, guys? James here, bringing you another YouTube video. This one is finally going to be another episode of the Uncharted 2 Let's Play right here on TGC Gaming. It's been such a long time. I've been way too bad with just everything. But I'm here. I'm ready. We left off on the episode when Nate is in the village after Chapter 15. And we're going to pick up right where we left off. And yeah, let's get straight back into it right away. I'm supposed to follow him. Huh. Wait. I also have not played um, this game. <laughs> nice. I have not played this game since the last episode. Okay, well, that's not true. Um, I did actually attempt to record this back in 2020 at some point, but we're in 2022 now, and... Dude, stop cock-blocking. Thank you. I got it. Follow you. You know, which we're in 2022 now, which is what I was saying before, and which, I mean, that's two years. So yeah, um, it's been a while. Excuse me. But we're just making our way downtown. Hey, chickens. Come here, chickens! I want some chicken! getting in the mood to record Uncharted, so yeah. Um, I do know I have also, of course, if you've been paying attention, which I wouldn't blame if you weren't, by the way. But I mean, if you haven't paid attention, you would know that I also started in uh, Uncharted 4 Let's Play, which is a video remake series, trying to bring that over from the uh, main channel to the oh, gaming channel. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's that. Just when I thought I had nothing left to lose. Nate! Oh, thank God you're all right! <laughs> I'm sorry, I... It's all right. Elena, tell me you have some idea of what's going on. I mean, how long have I been here? Hey, only a few days. I followed the tracks to the wreckage. What the hell happened? Uh, you were right about Chloe. Turns out she wasn't exactly looking to be rescued. Wait, did she do no. that? No, no, I have Flynn to thank for this. Chef of good dish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go too soon. Come on. There's somebody who's anxious to meet you. So. Our mysterious guest awakes. Nate, this is Carl Schaefer. How are you feeling? Good. Thanks. Good, good. Please, sit. It appears you and I have much in common, Mr. Drake. Is that so? Yes. Seventy years ago, I came here just like you, carried into the village near death, the last survivor of my company. I was hired to lead an expedition into Tibet to find the entrance to Shambhala. What they really wanted was the Chintamani stone. So, my friend, where did you find this? Borneo. Why? This is the key to Shambhala. It's the one object your opponent desperately needs, even if he does not know it yet. <laughs> oh, I think he knows. Look, I'm very grateful for everything you've done for me. I really am, but I'm through with all this. So, they have beaten you, huh? Your quest is over? Yeah, that's right. 
What if it's only beginning? Where did you find this guy? <laughs> Trust me, young man. Your ego will mend. You're just lucky to be alive. Yeah, you know, people are always telling me how lucky I am. But the truth is, everything I touch turns to shit. Nate. No, Elena, I'm done. Now, come on, I'm through playing the hero. Your adversary will not give up so easily. He will not stop until he possesses the thing he desires. Oh, yeah? Well, more power to him. Power is precisely the problem. <laughs> Some of the most fearsome rulers through history have possessed only a fragment of the Chintamani stone. Men like Tamburlaine, Genghis Khan. If a mere sliver could bestow such power, what would a man become if he possessed the stone itself? This is crazy. It's got to be what he's after, Nate. Then Lazarevich really is a nut job. He's chasing a myth. And what if he's not? Uh, Helena, come on. Well, I mean, what if it's true? We've seen what he's capable of. I understand your doubt. You require proof. Something you can see with your own eyes. Tenzin, Tinsan Antara Tingonre. Find the remains of my expedition, and you will have your proof. Tenzin will guide you. Sure. I hope I live to regret this. Just come back in one piece. Don't suppose you speak any English, do you, pal? Looks inviting. What's it say? Do you touch anything? Why do I ask? Do you touch something? I'm not so good with charades, pal. Oppa, show me your. Wait, Tenzin. Why do you need that? Okay. Like I was saying, you know, like, I... It's been so long, um, and, like, I started the Let's Play on Uncharted 4, and the last was Part 2, and uh -huh. I know I need to keep going with those and make those consistent. Yeah. With Uncharted 4, of course, like I said, there. being a uh, video remake series, taking that from the main there? channel and bringing it to this channel. What? Um, I know things have not been good. Um, I'm trying though. I'm trying to good make it better. Out. That's almost mm -hmm. impossible. To... Oh, you did it. Nice. I'm trying to make it better. Sure, let's just swing across on the seventy-year-old rope. You need to show. I hope you know where you're going, buddy. But yeah, um... Exactly, that's what I was thinking. Oh, like I was saying again, like, just trying to make things consistent again because the key to like everything really is just trying to find the motivation to record something and like when you have the motivation at least for me it's like you will record a lot at one time but when you don't have that motivation it is such a killer Oh, that way, sure. 
Those things bite, you know. Yeah, it, it can just be such a killer, you know? Because, like, when you don't have that motivation, you just can't be bothered to record anything. And it can take so long to get that motivation once again, you know? I saw the treasure, I gotta get it. <laughs> I don't remember the way to get the treasure though. I think it's this way. I don't think there's another way that you could get it. Hell yeah. Give me the damn treasure. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> Got it. Okay, Tinson, I'm coming. But yeah. Um, motivation uh, is like the key to everything. I died. I tried to do the same moves as Tinson, and I'm, just, I'm not that good. No, sometimes the rope swinging is just kind of dumb. <laughs> okay. There we go. But yeah, that is what I'm looking at there. Just trying to keep motivation going. Hopefully, keep doing Uncharted Jesus, 2. Boats, not track shoes. <clears throat> yeah. More wolves. Fantastic. Yeah, you know, like, just kind of keep doing. What'd you find? What do you share for you mean by Patrick? He's been dead a long time. Yeah. Baba. Shintamani stone. Must have been one of Schaefer's men. <laughs> Wait, what? Go on, go on. It's not the best sauce. Dent, come on. All right, I'll give you a boost. Mogo, ye can I act? What? Naya, Ainda. Yeah, still don't speak that. Me first, huh? Okay. Of course. But yeah, that is um what I'm kinda going for. You know. Just looking to try and finish up Uncharted 2 and keep that consistent. Then go to Uncharted 4 and of course part two. Um, and of course, you know, obviously, eventually do Uncharted 3, because, uh, obviously. It'd be the one that I haven't done. Obviously, as well, you know, do like a, um, uh, uh, Lost Legacy one, but I've already done that. I would just want to do it again for, like, video remakes. Like I'm doing with Uncharted 4. Though, admittedly, the series for Uncharted 4, I want to do that again because, like, it was originally a no commentary let's play. I had commentary all the way throughout Lost Legacy. I just want to do do it again, bring it through. But now that I'm thinking about it. Come on! I'll catch you! What's the I got you. Yeah, there you go. You owe me one, pal. But yeah, um... But now that... Oh, fuck. It kind of just pushed me off as I walked backwards. 
But yeah, like now that I think about it, come on. It I'll might be you. better to wait for Lost Legacy until I can get a PS5 and just do it on the PS5 with the Legacy of Thieves collection. Even though, uh, as someone who loves trophies and achievements, that's, you know, uh, they, they kind of butchered the trophy list for, for Lost Legacy for the Legacy of Thieves collection. It's not great. And I mean, like, they literally straight up combined both of them together. Not even, like, doing, like, the best of both trophy lists. Motherfucker, bro. Yeah, like, literally not even taking the best of both trophy lists and then combining it. They literally just took both of them in full, minus the Uncharted 4 multiplayer trophies, and, like, c combined them together. But into two different lists, so Lost Legacy is just a DLC list. But you still have to do literally everything in both games, just like you would have for the Platinum in both originally. You have to do everything in both games to then... Um, do everything in both games to get the Platinum. Because to replace the multiplayer trophies, they added a gold trophy, which is the what the Platinum was originally called in Lost Legacy. Don't ruin the moment. Why am I getting nowhere, bro? There we go. Fuck. So yeah, like, the trophy list was kind of... Butchered. Not yet. And that sucks. Because like, I totally would like Platinum again. I've played all of the Uncharted games, except for Golden Abyss, but I never had a Vita, so never got the chance to play that one. What the hell was that? But yeah, like, um. I totally would have, but knowing that I have Platinum already, I'm a little bit less bothered with it now. But it does kind of feel like shitting on everyone who did get the Platinum in Lost Legacy. Because it's just like them saying, yeah, you know what, all your work was for nothing. You know, I didn't have to make that jump, okay? At least it feels that way. What did this? This, what did this? Keep doing this, said I. Shannon's a good Yeah, come on. Did that thing I won't matter? Tenzin, we gotta get moving. But to be honest, um. Like, trophy and achievement hunting. Like, trophy and achievement hunters have. I feel like have always kind of been looked at like the, re the redheaded stepchild. You know, like, just like, uh. It's like, you're there, we acknowledge your existence, but we don't understand why you do what you do. We don't understand your commitment to getting these digital things. Alright, just stay here. Here. So I don't know. Um, so again, that's kind of like what I look at there. <laughs> um, oh shit. Get out of the freezing water.
Um, and like, like I said, it does suck because like, as someone who does love trophy and achievement hunting, like it sucks. But again, like it's as much as I, th I might think it sucks. It's like it's not that big a deal at the end of the day. Could they have done like a better list? Oh hell yeah, absolutely. But again, it doesn't really matter. It's like we still have the. It's like at the end of the day, we still have the PS4 versions. Which then have like the better trophy list. And I, and I mean, admittedly, again, like, I assume if you wanted to, you could still, like, play, like, the PS4 versions of those games, too. So, you could still get the Platinum in... Oh. Uh, hey, Schaefer says nice. hello. Oh, I hope this is loaded. Like, you could still get the Platinum in Lost Legacy. Because even if you had a PS5 and not a PS4 anymore, you could, you should still be able to put the PS4 get Lost Legacy into the PS5 and you can play the PS4 version of it right from there. Dang. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck you. I forgot how long does this take? Where the fuck did you go? Bro? Bro? Oh! How'd you get so good at hiding, my dude? Tenzin, where were you? Oh shit. Tenzin! Tenzin gets all the badass points for that alone. Like, Tenzin was already a great character. He hasn't even, like, said a word that... Unless you speak the same language, obviously. You understand what he's saying, but, like... Was that thing? For anyone that doesn't... Yeah, love so <laughs> he, doesn't even, he hasn't even said a word that most people would understand, and it's like, you know... He's already a great character. And, like... He just gets all the badass points there. Um, hang on. Where's the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Come here. I'll boost you up there. There we go. I like Tenzin. Tenzin's great. Admittedly, you could also argue that he doesn't have much of a character, but, like, uh, I disagree. But I would understand if someone said that. I just... I completely disagree. Shit. Oh, that's not the way to go. Huh. 
Um, where's the way to go? Oh, I see. Come on, Nate. Don't die! All right. One video I also think would be very interesting. Oh, shit. <laughs> One video I think would also be really interesting uh, would be to do like a, um, like an Uncharted ranked video, which actually on the main channel, I just did a video ranking all of my episodes in the series Tournament Tuesdays. It's not up yet as the time of recording, but like, I did record that yesterday. And technically, I could render it and let it be done, but I still don't know necessarily what I want to do. I might want to do a little bit more editing with it. But for all intents and purposes, it could be done. But I think I'll add a little bit more to it. You know? But yeah, I think Uncharted Ranked could be cool. You know? Um. Suffice to say. Dancing. Stand on that other switch. Yeah, don't get the new door. But the issue I have with it is uh, like I don't know <laughs> I think it'd be cool to bank but I don't know how well it would do necessarily because like my views on Uncharted are like I feel like pretty damn unpopular <laughs> To be completely honest. Because, like, um... The very first game is actually one of my favorites. There's just something that's always really connected with me on Drake's Fortune. Whereas, like, say, Uncharted 3, which I know people actually lo really love, is my least favorite. You know what I mean? And that's not, like, the shit on Uncharted 3. I just, I didn't feel like I got that much from it. Though... I do love aspects of Uncharted 3. Like, I love the slower moments, especially when you're younger Nate. I love those. Bet I could climb those. They were really yes. Low. Yeah, I know. Gotta go down here. But yeah, like, Uncharted 3 is, like, my least favorite. But things might change as I play them again. That is always a possibility. Pull that switch. So I don't know. Now we're talking. Um. <laughs> but I started thinking about a lot recently for other videos and stuff, and I realize I tend to like always really prefer. Um, like the first game in the series and I don't know why necessarily not always let me also stay that for the record I don't always feel that way there we go uh but I find commonly that is kind of how I feel. Is I almost always prefer the first one. Like, say if we look at Jack and Daxter, for example, since we're playing Uncharted. Um, my favorite Jack, and da Jack game is The Precursor Legacy. I like Jack 2 and Jack 3, but I don't know. I, just, I really like The Precursor Legacy. So, uh, yeah, there's that.
Um. That's. Oh, I was scared. <laughs> Yeah. Sure, <laughs> So yeah, I don't know why I'm like that. Like I said, it's not always the case. Like I do really like um Like say with uh one of my favorite franchises, uh the Sly games. My favorite slide too. But then, like, say if we go back to... Oh, fuck, I forgot the treasure. It's not 100% less play, anyway. Uh, but yeah, look, if we go back to Ratchet & Clank, for example, the very first game is my favorite. Which I know some people would take as blasphemy. But I don't, like, I don't know what it is. Um, again, going commando up your arsenal, even deadlocked, like, they're all really good. Uh, I get less interested as the series goes on, like, going to the future saga. They just don't really grab me that much. Finally. You know? Right now, how am I going to get across? Oh, you know how, Nate. I'm doing it the hard way. Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, like, there's just something with the Future Saga that just doesn't really grab me that much. Which is a shame, because, like, I really do like Ratchet & Clank, just in general. But to be fair, I'm also not that big a fan of Up Your Arsenal. And Going Commando, I really like, but I feel like... I'm way too biased to give, like, a good explanation. Like, I feel like I'm way too biased on Going Commando as it is, because that was really my first Ratchet and Clank game. Like, technically, my first was the first game, but, I mean... Oof, Jesus. Uh, but, you know... Um... Yeah, like, technically it was the first game, but, like, I had two PS2 copies of the first Ratchet & Clank that were both just kind of busted. So, I didn't actually get the chance to play those, play the first one to completion before the, ga the, that, the disc was just scratched up too much, you know? And it just stopped working. Because the first one I got, the first copy I ever had of the games would always freeze on the opening cutscene when you were landing on Novalis. Not opening cutscene, but like when you went to Novalis. And then the other one froze consistently when you were on Planet Eudora with the, the cutscene with the lieutenant. Which actually I do talk about more in another video that should be coming to the gaming channel at some point as soon as I get all the necessary footage for it. Which is me talk. I picked out, I went and picked out a game for every year of my life. I thought that was really fun. And it was cool to talk about all that stuff. You know? It was cool to figure out um, what games I want to really represent who I am as I've gone throughout life.
Thanks for jumping where I pointed the stick, Nate. You're the best. You're, you're just the best, Nate. Jackass. Call us E-Flexes. I expected a tre treasure there. <clears throat> Let's hope there's another way out of here. Drake, tell us shot. This must be them. Schaefer's expedition. Oh. Chintamani stone. men were all shot. Oh, it's the uh, Irman Sul. It's uh, the life tree. Not in Nerbe. Oh, Jesus. They were SS. Uh, Nazis. Nazi? What would a man become? Tenzin, Schaefer did this. Ah. Schaefer killed them. Mare, mare. Yes. It's the only way to stop them. Oh. Sure. Shit. We have to find a way out of here. Now. We've gotten to the point where we can just stop putting uh, Nazis in the games hey, for some reason. You know, <laughs> it's like, okay, I get it, but like, it became a cliche, and I'm glad we don't have to really deal with that too much now. Nowhere near as much as back in the day. Because, like, God, it was such a big cliche, even into the PS3 generation. I mean, Jesus. Uncharted 1 and 2 all had something to do... Oh, 
shit! Asshole. Go to hell, bitch. No one likes you. Go home. Little asshole. Ow, 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 ow. Guys, guys, can, can we not do this, please? I swear, can we not do this? Look, elevator. Elevator. Fuck you. Bro, this man hit that in three shots. This man hit the shit, <laughs> hit the switch with his gun in three shots, bro. They weigh a lot. <laughs> you okay? Oh. <sighs> oh no. Tenzin. There's us. Emma. Thank God. Oh, Nate. What happened? It's Lazarevich. They found us. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Schaefer's got her. Cut it. Mol Schaefer and Yum Dudu. Schaefer? They went the other way. Alright. Nate, this is our fault. We did this. Just stay here. We keep them safe. Come on. 